so let's understand today's requirement catalog task could not be able to uh, close from list edit and then uh, the table name is the catalog task so let's understand that requirement first today's first if i go to this scrq item table so this is the request item table or the request uh, item where we have various catalog tasks if i open that that would have catalog tasks so let me scroll down so you have a catalog task and people click that state and directly close that from here to close complete or close incomplete but before closing that if i open this catalog task under the catalog task there are various multiple information um, important information is there like assigned to uh, uh, assignment groups there could be some other question those are the important factor right so what they are trying to say that people right now they can click here from the list and then close complete without filling those mandatory uh, data what they are looking for that that nobody should be able to allow to update directly uh, state to close complete state uh, from the list edit so that is the requirement so how do we implement this requirement to implement the requirement we need to build a client script and that is on cell edit client script the on cell edit client script will run whenever you update anything from the list layout so let's go back to the client script module under this client script i'm going to create a client script called on cell edit client script so i'm going to click that new and here i will put that client script name called prevent uh, list update here we need to select the table so we are going to select that catalog task table so sc task table and then the type should be on cell edit once you select the on cell edit and here we need to select the type equal to all now if you see that once we select the on cell edit by default various information populated there are a few parameter called csid table old value new value and then callback and here we have a options called save and close equal to true callback save and close by so what it does it mean by that within this parameter we can make many kind of things okay first thing understand what are the uh, parameter are so csid is return me the current csid for example if i update this record it will give me that record csid now we have a table that will return the current table name old value return will be returned me the old value like from open to close if i update that it will old value will be open and new value will be the close so this is how it structure look like that now let's understand what we are looking for or what we are um, uh, what we want basically we want that nobody should be update the state from um, any state to directly close complete we need to know that what is the value of this close complete right for the state field so i if i open this task in a new tab you can see the field name is the state and then close complete value is the three close incomplete four or close keep is three seven right so what i want from the list nobody should be able to select three four seven any of this okay so let's do that what we will do here we need to select the field name so when we are running that on cell edit client script like on change client script so it is pretty much similar to the on change client script if you see there are parameter also pretty much similar so we need to select the field so we are going to select the state field okay so it means that whenever state field value we are going to change from the list we should be able to run this script okay here we'll write a script right what we'll write if new value equal to equal to seven or new value equal to equal to three or new value equal to equal to four we don't want to be update them right so we'll say that save and close equal to false so this is the variable where if we set whatever value will set if we set true it will allow you to set the value if you set false it will allow you it will stop um updating that okay so we'll format that and if we want to show some message like we say that alert and say so you can say that cannot like we can say that 
cannot update from list so this is done let's test that this is the r idea and then you can see that we have a task which is open state if we try to uh, from the open state if we try to work in progress it is working perfectly fine if but if we try to update from work in progress to close complete let's see and it is showing an error cannot update from the list and you can see it's go back to the earlier state so you cannot select the list from list you cannot select this value so whenever you will uh, change that value your system will throw an error and it does not does not allow you to save that so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day